the big story that I in in, in the state of Indiana, Craig, when Indiana mm-hmm. basketball wins three games in a row, I, it could be against Norfolk State, Chicago State, and Wisconsin Green Bay. Us Indiana people think we're winning a national championship. Purdue fans could win 12 in a row, win the Big Ten, win the Big Ten tournament, and they know it's all going to come crashing down. I've been told that Jets fans are like Purdue fans. We're so used to freaking misery, we don't believe in Aaron Rodgers yet until he signs. Oh, no, no, no. They, they believe it. Uh, it. That's a wrap. Uh, the question now is, do the Jets uh, win a Super Bowl? But uh, the Jet Nation has gone bat bleep crazy. Because we now, for the first time in our franchise's history, have uh, a guy that, as the kids say today, is him. We have a legitimate stud quarterback. And I think uh, when you consider the rest of the talent that exists on the New York Jets, it's okay now. Jet fans can dream the dream. And you know, I'm 23 years old, as you know. And in my lifetime, I've never been able to dream the dream. So the mere fact that I can now... Uh, you know, go to bed at night and have these uh, fantasies that might come real is a major change. So we're all in. We may not like the guy. I said this this morning. I view Aaron Rodgers the way I view presidents of our country and airline pilots. I may not like you, but I'm rooting for you. And that's where we are right now with, with Aaron Rodgers. As a 23-year-old currently, that means you were really young, a toddler really, when Brett Favre came over to the world of the Jets. Um, does there seem, is there trepidation because, you know, Favre was fine. Sanchez was actually really good. He came in here and beat Peyton Manning. Mark Sanchez right. gets very undervalued. Uh, is there trepidation with Rodgers because Favre didn't quite get it done? No, I don't think so. It's a, I mean, look, it's an obvious comparison. They, they both... Uh, Left Green Bay. They both came to New York. Brett Favre started off eight and three his one year with the New York Jets. And then he busted his shoulder. We didn't know about it. And they basically lost out. I just think Aaron Rodgers right now has more good football left in him than Brett Favre probably did when he came in and hurt his shoulder. I recognize he went to Minnesota and had a great year the following year after he had the shoulder surgery. Uh, it's an obvious comparison, but probably not a fair one. We are getting one of the great quarterbacks who still, I think, has a lot of football left. Now, the rub on it for the New York Jets is, well, how long do you really get him for? Uh, I think you're guaranteed a year and nothing more than a year. I think based and depending upon how that one year goes, maybe he walks out the door and you never see him again. Maybe he comes to run it back in year two. But this is a very small window where the New York Jets are now saying, we're going to go for it. We're going to try to steal a title uh, while everyone else is not paying attention. And that's basically what they're trying to do. All right. So for people that don't follow the Jets as closely, what do the Jets need to add here to help get what you just said done? They got to figure out the offensive line like a lot of teams. You know, the guy that they were counting on a couple years ago to be uh, the stud left tackle is a guy that named Makai Becton. Makai Becton can't stay on the field now. To his credit, he's lost like 50 pounds, and he looks great. So they need to make sure they've got a left tackle. And then the question becomes, all right, sure up to defense a little bit. It's already a top five defense anyway. But, you know, the guy that was emerging as a star running back for them was Brees Hall. Brees Hall tore his ACL in October against the Denver Broncos. So no guarantee that he's back at all this year or for even uh, a meaningful part of the year. So is it running back by committee? Do they go after a guy like Ezekiel Elliott to kind of hold the fort until Brees Hall comes back? And then, you know, how much football does Aaron Rodgers have left in him? They got Lazard, as you're showing your audience right there. You've got Garrett Wilson, who is Offensive Rookie of the Year. You've got Elijah Moore, who had a great rookie year, not a great sophomore year. And you've got decent tight ends. The New York Jets, and I know this seems like uh, a crazy oxymoron, are a very talented team. And now they've got a quarterback, and the hope is that he does what he hasn't done for the last 10 years, and that's go to a Super Bowl. Do um, So Zach Wilson says he's going to make life miserable. What happens with Zach Wilson? 
<laughs> Zach Wilson makes life miserable for us. Chad fans, he's not going to make life miserable right. for uh, Aaron Rodgers. He's going to be on the roster because they don't want to give up on the second pick overall, despite the fact that the kid can't play. I, I think it's a couple things. I think he's not an NFL quarterback just yet. And he's one of those guys that you know, probably grew up as the best athlete in everything he did in a small town, was coddled very much. And then you wake up one day and you're surrounded by type A guys who had to earn it, had to bust their asses, uh, who are warriors and fighters and put in all the extra time. And you've kind of gotten by just based on you were better than the neighborhood kids. And as you know, the NFL's different. And I think Zach Wilson wasn't prepared for that. I don't question his arm strength. I don't question his, you know, kind of pure athleticism. But being an NFL quarterback, I think we'd all agree, is the single toughest position in all of sports, mentally, emotionally, and physically. And he just never really put it together. And he lost the locker room. And when you lose the locker room in the NFL, you're done. And I don't think we ever see him play another day for the uh, Jets unless Aaron Rodgers gets hurt. Hey, thanks for watching Don't At Me with me, Dan Dockich. Make sure to like, subscribe, or click the notification bell for more of my beautiful face. Check out my full show to my right or watch this other video. See ya.